This is an absolutely momentous occasion. We are bringing together the four surviving original Magna Carta documents that were issued in 1215 so that we can kickstart the anniversary year in 2015 in a really fantastic way. And we're absolutely delighted to be working in partnership with Salisbury Cathedral and Lincoln Cathedral and with the support of the law firm Linklaters. I'm thrilled that today we can announce to the world what we have been planning for some time. An 800th anniversary is such a special occasion. These are historic documents and as much as people will enjoy seeing them in their three different locations, actually bringing them together for a single moment of time, it, it's a great partnership. Lincoln Cathedral is one of the great medieval cathedrals. It was begun by William the Conqueror in 1072. The Bishop of the day, Hugh de Wells, was one of those present at Runnymede. And so when the Magna Carta was issued, it came up here to Lincoln Cathedral, and it's been here ever since. At the present moment, the uh, Magna Carta is in Lincolnshire archives. It's having a rest. It's very light sensitive, and it needs to be carefully looked after. One of the most exciting opportunities of this celebration will be bringing the four together in the British Library Conservation Centre so that the world's leading experts on Magna Carta and the Charters of King John have an opportunity to see the four original documents side by side and to really study them in detail and that's a really unique and valuable research opportunity. It is extraordinary to think that 800 years ago, these documents were together and then parted company going around the country. And now they will be brought together again. It's an extraordinary privilege to be part of that. It's really important for us that children and families have an opportunity to participate in the excitement of this event. So on one of the three days, 1,215 people will have the opportunity to come to see these four documents together in the Treasures Gallery at the British Library.